Hello dear Power Electronics boys and girls. So um, in this video I would like to show you how to run a simple Plex simulation from Python. How to automize Plex simulation with Python. So let's make it very quick. What we need for this is Python. Any IDE for Python. I really like using Jupyter. So if you want you also can use it. It's available in the Anaconda Navigator package. So yeah. And the simulation I would like to use is this simple uh, full bridge converter and I operated here is a um, three level converter so if we simulate it take a look yeah we see this very nice uh, three level waveform so let's try to connect to it first what we need to do well actually what we need to do for uh, operating Plex from Python just to check the documentation so if we open it and here in search we create a search for Python Simula uh, simulation scripts so we go here and all the information needed for Python we can find right here so yeah this is how it works so you can study it yourself but you can just follow me as well so here in Python um, we need to import this XML library and client. Let's use it uh, alias as XML. And for now, let's also import OS package. Um, let's take a look where we're located now. Okay, so I put this Python script in the same folder where I have my simulation file. So what we can do, we can use command list dir and it will show us the name, uh, the list of names we have here. So let's use this name, this is our simulation model and let's call it model. So this is the name and file type will be plex. Okay, so now we need to connect to the plex. What we, how we connect it, we go here to preferences, uh, where is preferences for Plex, simulation parameters, preferences, and we need to turn on the XML interface. Yeah, the port we can choose whatever we want, but let's keep it as it was. So let's connect it. Plex XML server and here we type what was already no it was not here it was in help in documentation. So let's take a look again. XML so we need exactly this path. Okay, we see that it's loaded. Now following this example we can okay here it's called server, I called it Plex. Plex Plex loaded, our models already loaded. So what we can do we can use this one get and uh, get information about some of the blocks. So let's see. So Plex Plex component path and component path would be like the model name and then some components. Let's use inductor. What's the name of inductor? It is L1. Okay, so L1. Oops. What is the problem? Okay, Python Plex doesn't have um yeah, the name is not Python Plex, the name is Python Half Bridge. Here's the first mistake. Okay. Yeah, so we get some information about the inductor. So the inductance is 1 millihenry at the moment. And we can also change it. Okay, instead of this long line, let's use it as the name of our model, plus L1. Here instead of get we put set and we need to set 
this value as this. So we, what we can do, we can say L parameters set it to 0, 0, 0, 2. Let's run it. Wow, we can see that it's already changed here. Okay, that's good. Um, another point. So we write here plex, which is this plex, plex, which is under it and so on. What we can do, we can add it here. And then it will be reduced to only one plex. So let's change it more to three. Okay, so good. Let's simulate it. For simulation, what we need to do, just use simulate command and put the model name here. Let's open the oscilloscope and see. Okay, yeah, we see that it did simulate. Let's try to change it to I don't know, very small one and simulate again. Okay, good. Now the question is, how do we save the data we simulated? Actually, there are a couple of ways. Let's use one of the ways. Um, let's create signal output. The name here doesn't matter. It will provide the values and add them to our simulation model. So now we can see that after we run the simulation, we get this two parameters, times and values. Time and values, and which are empty. So they're empty lists. So after we added this output, if we run it again, let's put the oscilloscope here so we can see it running. Ooh, we see that this flex simulate command returned us a lot of values. So yeah, let's let's separate them. Okay, let's say that time equals flex simulate flex simulate time and let's see what's inside time okay we see that there is another array so maybe maybe we can try something like this oh no we cannot uh, the values Okay, let's keep it like this and I think it was value not values No, it was values Okay, so now we can see some time and also we have values and values it gives us actually nested list. So you see if I put here, yeah. And if I put another one, I get the first value. And if I do like this, I get the last value. So here I would like to put one more, simulate it. And let's plot it. For plotting, we need to import matplotlib library pyplot as plot and after simulated plot time values uh, yeah which values we want to use oh, it will be current okay let's simulate it again whoa let's add some more parameters to this plot to make it look nicer. Okay, let's make put some grid. What we can also do something interesting. Let's run for loop for i in range. Let's run 100 different simulations. Also, let's import time library and let's change the inductor. And let's change the inductor. Um, okay, here we have 100 different parameters, so it will go from 1 to 100. Now let's make it 30, 100 is too much. i times this. So the last value will be 3 millihenry. Okay. 
Okay, and then we'll change one of the parameters. We need to change the inductor. But how do we change it? Okay, let's take a look. Model plus L1. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm doing this. We already have it here, so let's just put it here. Set. This one needs to be a string. So if we put just tell value, uh, it will give us an error. So we need to convert it to string. Let's try it again. Okay, so what we can see here that some values, they actually become really strange. They go to very long ones so, because of this floating point problem, what we can do, we can round it to five values. So, let's just use round command and then put here five and simulate it again. Maybe we can plot here as well. Okay, 30 is too much, let's make it five. Okay to me, or maybe 10 would be much better. Let's do it again with 10. Okay, so you see actually these two things, um, they look very similar. Okay, the question is why do we get only one, but not the other one? So we need to put both of them um, through the multiplexer and then we'll have two channels okay so let's copy this put it here and voltage current and let's plot voltage and also current. Mm -hmm. Should work. Let's give it a try. Okay, so it seems that it's being simulated. Yeah, it's simulating. And we got, I think, a lot of different plots. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we just need to plot the last one. Okay, so I think it's that's it for this video. Let's continue and do something more interesting in the other video.